Hey guys, it's Toast again from the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Here's another brilliant, well, simple product that Yak Attack improved. It's their pad eyes. So if you've been kayak fishing or even boating for long, you're probably familiar with these little jobs. That's a pad eye. When I first started doing this stuff, I knew what they were, but heck, I couldn't even put my finger on what the name was. So back then, you couldn't find these very often, unless you went to like a West Marine or somewhere like that. So when you're looking for rigging kayaks, you couldn't just Google them online to figure it out, because at least for me, remembering what the heck they were called was a pain. Even when my father was in the Coast Guard, but I don't know, just the name just eluded me. Anyway, again, it's a pad eye. This one here is a nylon, a plastic pad eye. It's standard. Nothing special to it. Some people call them a deck loop. That's it. Older ones, you might even see them made out of brass or a, a heavier metal. Sometimes you'll see some white ones, but the ones we're using kayak fishing are typically black. They're cool. They work well, but there's not much to it, right? How do you improve that? Well, Yak Attack did it again. This is the Snagless Slotted Pad Eye Kit. It's a six pack. They sell these for 10 bucks. It's another new product from Yak Attack. Again, it's a really simple product that they totally blew away and basically over improved. It's awesome. So really you think, what, what, what's the problem with this? Well, first of all, there's not much to it. They're kind of, well, they crack pretty easily. You put much weight on it. And if you ever slide in a kayak, for instance, if you're loading your kayak on your racks or something like that upside down, You'll bump that, and you're just not going to budge on you. So we're looking for something snagless, something you're not going to really snag your lines on, or when you're sliding your boat onto a rack or something like that. That's what this is. So again, it's a six-pack. Let's open this puppy up. Take a look again. Still haven't cut myself. Anyway, so you get six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six and a little Ziploc with a bunch of little uh, self-threading screws, so that's great. So, some nice little stainless hardware for them. Nice little thought there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So there's twelve, so you got enough. That's really cool. So you even got a little sticker on it, tells you what's in them. So you got six of them. So here, here's a comparison of them. All right, so you got your standard old basic little pad eye. And this is their new fancy Nancy version. This thing is cool. So really here, like I said, heck, um, let me find my little knife again, okay? So if you're launching your, put your, I'm sorry, if you're putting your kayak on top of your racks, you're sliding it up, you're going to bounce, you're going to bump right here on the edge, and you're going to bump right here on that little oval part, okay? And like I said, you got a lot of weight in that kayak, especially with larger, modern, sit-on-top kayaks with the big seats. There's a lot of weight. You're not going to go very far. It's going to stick there. Here, you got a very small little lip here. About the same, if not smaller, than on the old version. And then it's angled straight across. So once you get up over there, it's going to go straight across. You're going to be able to slide it, and it's going to rock across it really, really nicely. A lot of effort went into this. Something really small, really tiny, but it's even. As you look at it really closely, it's got their logo molded on it. Really super cool. So let's take a look at it again. Uh, it's a really hefty, nice uh, plastic. Really cool stuff. It's got a little bit of flex. So if you're going to put it on a curved surface, you can have it mount there easily. These sometimes in your mountain, there's not a lot of flex or play in it, so they crack pretty easily. But they're not going to flex really hard, or really well to a curved surface or an angled surface. So here, it's got the nice little recessed area in it. Here, if you're putting a rivet or a screw or a bolt in there, it's an added lip to it. So even more for you to catch on. Here, it's countersunk. Nice and clean. You look at it from the side, you don't even see it. Don't even see the head there. And then it's slotted. So it's got a little bit bigger gap on there, a hole in there, so that it matches up with multiple different size pad eyes. And if you're like me and you're a little bit, your sight's not the best, or how well you draw it, drill a hole. If you're a little bit off, you're still gonna make it fit. That's great. So that's really, really nice. And the screws they give you still have plenty of uh, thread there to bite in. 
The other thing that I like using, and a lot of people uh, use the plastic rivets. This is just a standard aluminum. I drill them out and stuff regularly, so a lot of times I just use the aluminum and just, you know, they're cheap. You can get them at like Lowe's or Home Depot or somewhere. That makes a little bit smaller lip on it when you're using it on a standard pad eye. Let's see if they work on a Yak Attack. Oh, snap, it still works. Awesome. So you can use this with your rivets also. That's really cool. Win-win. Again, it's countersunk. And it's not going to have any added lip to it. That is really cool. So when you figure out the lip of this with the head of a bolt or a screw or a rivet, that's a substantial little bump and then another one here. That's not, guys. That's cool. It's another really basic product that they've stepped up, and it's really not expensive. So you're looking at, heck, six of them for 10 bucks. Not sure the last price on the standard ones, but they're the same, if not more. Heck, so 10 bucks, nice packaging to it. Yak Attack, you can go to their website, Google them, go to Yak Attack. Go online at Apmex River Company. You can, if you're in Pennsylvania, you know, you can go down the street here on Route 11. Go to Five Mountain Outfitters. They're all over the place. We'll put some links up down below in the video, too. So if you're not near a retail or a brick-and-mortar shop, somewhere you can find a good deal on. I'll find some deals. I'll post them down below. So don't just look at the video on Facebook or something like that. Be sure to look at it directly onto the YouTube site, and you'll see it down in the description. Anywho, another winner from Yak Attack. Nothing wrong with the original pad eyes, but nothing special to them. You can break them, and they get in the way, and seriously, makes for a pain if you're trying to load your kayak up on a rack. This is just cool. Not just well-performing, but it looks nice. I dig it. Great job, guys. Thanks for sending them out for me to take a look at. These are going to be going on all sorts of our boats here for the trolley systems and all sorts of stuff. So, pretty cool. So, Yak Attack Snagless Slotted pad eye kit six pack check them out online and if you haven't already guys we ask you be sure to click and subscribe to the fish yak or youtube channel and if you're watching us directly on the youtube channel be sure to smash that thumbs up button down there okay let us know what you want to see too post up let us know give us some feedback all right guys and hopefully we'll be getting on the water soon we're getting in the spring the weather's supposed to turn this weekend it's supposed to be pretty nice so let's get out there and catch some fish catch you later guys Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.